You know what time it is Time to hang hey, out with Mr. Cool We're Mr. Kuba We're Mr. Kuba We're Mr. Kuba Get the latest cool From Mr. Kuba From Mr. Kuba From Mr. Kuba Hey, we're Mr. Cool We're Mr. Kuba We're Mr. Kuba We're Mr. Kuba Get the latest cool From Mr. Kuba From Mr. Kuba Welcome to the Big Scoop with Coop. I'm your host, Coop. Season 9 is still going strong, people. If you haven't, make sure you go to thebigscoopwithcoop.com to catch episodes from Season 1 all the way to Season 9. Big shout-outs to everybody that's watching on Facebook right now, facebook.com forward slash thebigscoopwithcoop. Also, big shout-outs to everybody that's watching on Instagram. That's right, IGTV, baby. That's right, you can catch me at Big Scoop with Coop. Also on YouTube. Just look up the Bit Scoop with Coop. Make sure you click like and subscribe so you make sure you don't miss one episode of the Bit Scoop with Coop. All right, people, enough about me. Today's guest I have, he is an actor, producer, and director. He's doing big things in the movie industry. Ladies and gentlemen, I have Enzo Zalaki. Now, like I said before, Enzo is doing big things in the movie industry. Um, he's releasing movies like The First Secret and The Source. You can check out both trailers on YouTube or on Instagram under his name, Enzo Zalaki. Make sure you go check those out. Um, he's actually got a lot of other things as planned. He started out as a model, but you know what? I'm not going to tell his story. I'm going to let him tell his story. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go catch up with Enzo and let's see what's going on. Let's talk to him now. Enzo Zalaki, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Yes, yes. How's your day so far? Pretty good. Can't complain. I have a beautiful ocean view in front of me right now. So, and then I have you. Everything matches, you know. That's good. Nice, nice. We need to switch places. I need that ocean view. I'm in North Carolina, so I don't get the ocean view. But lucky you, you absorb it all up for me. I love it. I love it. <laughs> now, Izzo, like I was telling everybody, this worldwide right now. Um, you're doing a lot of big things in your career right now. Your career is nowhere close to being over. You've done some amazing things from acting, producing, directing. I mean, you're taking this industry by storm. But people have seen the stuff that you've done on YouTube. They've seen the trailers. We're going to talk about that later on. But let's go on to start from the beginning, Enzo. When did you first realize that you wanted to become an actor? Well, I started to be a model. I started by being a model when I was 13. And then I always had this sense that it wasn't enough for me. So uh, I started to do some commercials. And then uh, I was lucky enough to... Uh, uh, to be booking a national TV show in Italy, and uh, and when I was on set, that was like, okay, this is it. That's what I that's what I want to do. That's what I love to do. That's where where it feels good in my heart. So that's what I that's when I really start to develop, open up, and and become the man that I am today. Wow, wow. Now, Enzo, you know, a lot of people that try to start a career, they they got a lot of stories saying that they went to Hollywood and they slept in the cars and they were homeless for five to 10 years. Um, but it seemed like with you, you know, starting with the modeling, you know, you was blessed to actually open up more doors to do more things. As far as it goes for like how you just said, from modeling to acting, that's a nice conversion over. Now, um, did you have any type of hurdles that you had to go through to get to where you are today? Oh, thousand and thousand of it. I mean, uh, from like, oh, you look too exotic, or uh, uh, you have an accent, or uh, uh, another one was, um, oh, you're too tan. I mean, okay, because I'm olive skin, so you know, I, if I take some sun, you can tell, you know, I'm like, I can get, <laughs> you know, actually my, you know, my, my, my whatever. I, I, I've been here so many different things. So I said, you know, guys, thank you. You do your thing. I do my thing and then we can catch up later. So I'm creating my own opportunities. I produce my own things. We can do joint ventures. And uh, at, the, at the beginning, you know, nobody never believes in you. So uh, if you be blessed enough to have some some sort of success, then, oh, my God, we're best friends. Of course we are. You know, who are you? what's your name again? So I'm like, <laughs> so that happens all the time. So but the, the, the key, I believe, also one of the key, the many keys is never take anything personal. And then and always be uh, bulletproof for rejections because you just need one yes to change your life. You know? That's so true. 
you put your mind into something and you, you're able to transform your dream into a strategy, you can become a successful story. You know, if you stop complaining, victimize yourself, making excuses, you just start doing you know, you start doing no matter what people are saying. Oh, you're not you're not a director. You know this. You know that. Guess what? I, people tell me the first time that I was directing, you're not a director. So how can you direct? I said, well, I need to start somewhere. You know, I mean, <laughs> so I just you know what? I try to get the director that I wanted uh, in a project like one of my first one. And then I, I wasn't able to get what I wanted. So I said, if I need to get somebody who I don't really believe in and really believe in, I, I'm going to direct it myself. That I end up directing myself. I won about 14 awards in festivals. I won twice best director, uh, best upcoming director. I mean, I was like, OK, guys, so here we go. Best independent film. So I said, here we go. So, you know, I like, yeah, guess what? I guess it wasn't a director, but I pulled it off. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Enzo. Now, let me let me ask you this question. Do you feel that people, I mean, the, the young people that come in 16, 18 years old, um, 2021, 20, you know, they're coming into this industry. Do you feel that they are getting, how, how can I put it, that that first no actually like kills their their dream? Do you feel like they just give up too easily these days compared to how it used to be back in the day? I think everything is a cycle. Look, everything, is, it repeats on a cycle. So obviously, whatever worked 20 years ago is not going to work today. Uh, but the fact is also about how we are strong mentally in our minds, the education that we received, if we are winners or losers. I mean, if we give up, quit, if you quit right away. Look, if you want something great to happen in your life, you need to, uh, to, uh, to have some very fundamental things, which are persistency, consistency, never give up, and all, also remember that the best winners are, you know, the, the biggest winners are the best losers because you can fail a hundred of times. One yes, one success can change your life and boom, one day you become a successful person. Even if you failed 200 times. I mean, you can listen to stories from, uh, I don't know, like my, Michael Jordan, from Oprah, from like uh, 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 Jack Ma, you know, I mean, from uh, uh, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk. You can go to 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 a lot of very every kind of successful people in different fields, they failed many times and they never knew they were gonna succeed that big. But, you know, America is a great country. It's a country that rewards the risk. If you have the guts to really put yourself on the line, take the risk, okay? Take it in and you can get the biggest reward. It's like it's like gambling, you know, but I don't like to gamble first. I like to, you know, business-wise, okay, but not in the casino. But the point is you need to be able to take a calculated risk. Once you analyze, okay, what, what, which are, what, what are more opportunities right now and possibilities? Okay, I'm broke or okay, I have this. Oh, I, I have this connection. I have that. Try to find the best formula for you. It doesn't matter how, how small you start as long as you start and then you start doing because that, that's going to be the day that's going to make you a winner because brick by brick, you can build an empire. You know, you can build an empire day by day. You start small. You know, uh, you want to be a great host, you start with your podcast and then little little consistency, persistency, you keep in going, keep in hammering. And then and then you're going to have more sponsors. You're going to you know, you're going to have more people believing you. And then and then you never know what can happen. And then another secret that personally I applied this and it changed a lot, a lot about me, a lot in my life is always live the present to build a great future. Never live in the past. Every day is a new beginning. What happened? What happened yesterday is the past. OK, mm -hmm. so you had problems, whatever. We all had problems. Uh, the good the good news is tomorrow, you know, today is a new day, you know, and and the outcome of our life comes from what we're doing now. So if we do the right thing, whatever you're doing, do it right with love and common sense. Never like listen to other people telling you. I, I never listen to people to uh, to think for me, make an opinion for me and make my own opinion. You know, I, I, I you know, you use your brain. We have a brain. It works. You know, if we shape our minds, nobody can fool us. Nobody can manipulate us. Nobody can tell us we're not good enough. I'm going to say, OK, well, good. Thank you. You know, maybe we, we cannot. Do, I cannot do this. It doesn't mean if you tell me that I cannot do something, it doesn't mean I cannot do it myself. I cannot do it with you so I can do it with somebody else. Or I can do it on my own. So just believe in yourself. 
listen to your heart and and don't worry about the rest everything is come along if you truly believe in yourself because don't expect to to have anybody else to believe in yours in you if you don't really if you don't believe in yourself first you know so you doesn't matter your background where you come from uh, you, you you i'm coming from not a, a, a huge town and you know 60,000 people but the point is i crossed half europe in the ocean and and and, and you know, and, and all, the, all the United States, all the way to LA, and and I arrived with two bags and a, and a computer, and a laptop computer, and you know, I saved some money because I was a producer, I was an actor, model. But again, I started, you know, by by literally uh, with zero connections, with zero, with nothing. And, but that's the beauty of America. When you become an American and you embrace the concept, you know that you can do whatever you want. If you put your brain into it and you are and you are in the right environment where you can catch the right opportunities, because that's the secret. The right place at the right time is not a random quote. It's true. You know, if you're in the middle of the desert or, or, or in the middle of, you know, in the middle of nowhere, well, what kind of opportunities, <laughs> what kind of opportunities can come around? Pretty much nothing. But if you uh, if you're sharp enough and, and, and also brave, again, always goes back to believing yourself. And, and and do the right things day by day. And Zoe, you know what? That I hope everybody, ladies and gentlemen, is watching worldwide. I hope you're paying attention to this. I hope you write down notes because Enzo just dropped about two million jewels, two million gems right there you. in your lap. Um, Enzo, you proven right here by itself how you actually went, how they say zero to a hundred real quick. You did it, you didn't give up. And you kept pursuing for what you wanted to do. And look at you now, man. You're, you're doing great things. And I'm telling everybody this now. Enzo, if I'm lying, I want you to stop me right now on this show. In this industry, 100 no's can equal one yes. It can. You cannot give up when you hear that first no. Or even that 10th no. Or that 50th no. You have to keep going and going and going. And it's going to pop. It's you can have one million no's. And one yes can change your life. One million. Trust me, in Hollywood, there is always going to be someone who's going to tell you, you're to this, you're to that, or, oh, I cannot say this, I'm not going to say that, but it's a no. You know, there's always going to be something, always. I mean, at the beginning, but one changed everything. I mean, DiCaprio said the same thing. Other great actors and talents said the same thing. Again, everything goes back on consistency, persistency, and believe in yourself and then obviously quality work because just be like oh yeah i'm gonna make it by doing nothing is not gonna happen you have to work. you have to put the work sacrifice and stop complaining wow that's <laughs> what i'm talking about ladies and gentlemen once again you better listen to enzo he's telling you stuff he's definitely telling you stuff now enzo we we heard about the hurdles we heard about how you started now did you have any mentors to help you out along your way in your journey in this movie industry I had many. Uh, I mean, actually, two that really touched me. Uh, Acting-wise, I don't know if you ever heard about Susan Batson. Uh, okay, so I met Susan in Rome. I did a master class in Rome, and she said to me, "Follow me in New York. I'll teach you for free." That was quite a while ago. And then I, I said, "Okay, I'll do it." So I made, you know, the crazy thing, the crazy decision to move back to New York, and uh, um, and I was like. And I and I was in her acting class, acting school, uh, for about six months. I was she was she gave me a private moments uh, once a week, uh, classes every day. Uh, she put me in her private class, and and again I was a young boy. Um, she I guess she saw something in me. I don't know, but I I um, uh, I literally she literally twisted me, you know, with this powerful. She's a power source. She, she's she's such a powerful woman, and. Um, and she, she kind of like acting wise in a military way kind of break me because, you know, when you're like modeling, you, you, you have the stigma, all this BS, they always have to look perfect. And, and she literally helped me to manage the tools that I, we all have in ourselves as, as, as humans, as an actor, actors or whatever, you know, and, and to be able to found them and use them and twist them in my stomach and then project everything with a fourth wall and everything else. So she literally break me up. Uh, and 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 uh, and literally like open a new universe. I mean, who, who doesn't know? You know, Susan Betts. For, for, for who doesn't know who Susan Betts is? She's a uh, 
personal member of the actor studios. Uh, she uh, she's a personal acting coach of uh, Nicole Kidman, Juliette Binoche. She worked with Johnny Depp, Puff Daddy, Madonna, Oprah, you name it. Uh, um, she was uh, on Lee Strasberg team at the Actor Studios. I mean, she she, she she's like a she, she's not that tall, but she was like oh, she's always like so <laughs> person. The, one of the most powerful women with the energy. Also, when she was like looking at you, and you do something, you, you know, you do something wrong when you like. She was looking at you like, like with flames, <laughs> but yes, Susan. in a motherhood way, you know, in a good way, because any, when you were trying to make excuses or victimize yourself, you say she was, I, I don't know if I can repeat exactly, but uh, basically she was saying to cut the BS and cut, call you out each time, you know, every time with this, it's F BS, you know, this is that. This is that. So, okay, I got it. And when you're a young boy, you're like, okay, I'm, I'm in trouble. I get it. So, uh, I'm, uh, you know, <laughs> so you, uh, you just change. And then by the end of it, she gives you the, she gives you the love of, you know, you can feel that she's, she's doing it for your own good. Because if you've been bait all the time, oh, poor thing, you know, you're never going to change. You know, sure. in life, you know, the best lesson is when we, we hit our head in the wall. And then, okay, why we hit our head in the wall? What happened? What lead us to that? So Susan, uh, she, she, she was, she, you know, I've been blessed to work with her for about, yeah, six months. And then she left with the Susan Kidman to, uh, to shoot the compass best back in the, I remember when it was like the kind of, if you ever bring the movie, the compass. And, uh, and then I moved back to play and then I met, um, met many great producers and I kept also, I started also producing more with uh, one of my producer mentors who was, um, who was uh, TJ Mancini, uh, is the president of Crossroad Entertainment. Uh, we met randomly in a party. Uh, we connected right away. Uh, and um, literally we were, we've been brothers since then. I mean, we have a big gap because, you know, he, I mean, he, he can be my dad, but he, uh, he, we we never uh, we never have conflicts. Everything was so organic, you know. We start collaborating. He he you know he helped me incredibly to have a deep understanding of the business as a producer as well. Uh, so eighty percent of what I know is because of him. Um, so it's it's I've been blessed by God. I'm very I'm very blessed, you know. I I I just knew I, again right place at the right time. If you're not in the right places. You cannot expect miracle to happen. So, and plus, I'm a big believer of, you know, and and I I I I hope I I allowed myself to be open. When you spread out the right energy, and and you're truthful, you know, you're you you you, yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but the universe and God and whatever you believe in, but yes. definitely uh, definitely helps you. If you just wait, sit down and wait. I'm sorry, but it's not going to work. But if you put the work incredible things will happen but you know again persistency consistency believe in yourself and be the right time i mean the right place in the right time i mean at least be in the right place and then we'll see what happens you know <laughs> now you see enzo that's what i like um and i agree with you 100 million percent um everybody has a season in life to do what needs to be done god blesses a lot of people um but like you said you have to put the work in you can't just sit there and expect for god to just pick you up from point A to point B and you don't do nothing at all. You know, it doesn't work that way. So ladies and gentlemen, put your work in, whatever you're trying to do. If you're outside the movie and television industry, I don't care if you're out there and you're a plumber. You better put the best work in. You never know. You'll be plumbing from a person's house to a multi-million dollar mansion and you never know what type of connections can actually happen from there. Now, Enzo, talking about connections, man. Um, you were mentioning variety. And um, you know, you doing once again big things. I'm not trying to sound like a parrot, but I got to keep saying it, man. You're doing big things. Let's talk about the first secret before we even get any further about the viewership on it. Tell everybody about the first secret. How did it come to pass? Um, uh, what made you decide to actually make this um this movie and this trailer and put it out there? Well, if you want to hold, if you want to know the whole story, it starts from um, 2012 ish. Mm -hmm. um, there was this movie called Zorro Reborn, 
So uh, a VP of development from another production company uh, told me, Enzo, there's this, they're looking for the new Zorro. And uh, I think it would be perfect for it. And I said back then, yeah, of course, but they're gonna, they're gonna try to pick up like a like a big name, obviously, you know, like like you know, as usual. <laughs> so it, 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 like, but uh, this friend of mine said, so what? Who cares? You know, we have you know just we have you know all the executive list and all the producer in charge, and this is the studio. This is the head of the studio. You know, just try, you know. And I, okay, <laughs> so, I said, okay. So I put myself, you know, basically uh, with some great friends as well in contact with everybody who's in charge. I, you know, obviously you need to find a link with somebody that knows someone who's in the, you know, and uh, and um, and I uh, basically uh, I went for it. And uh, but unfortunately, you know, they already had the the, the name that they wanted, you know. Uh, and then in the meantime, they changed two directors, and then they had to do the studio change at Fox, and then which I met at the time, and and now I think is the head of Sony, and then uh, and Jim Napoli stepped in and offered him a different deal to the producers. Now is a Paramount, and when he was there, uh, they had a little conflict, and and the head of the studio said, okay, you know what, I'll put the project in turn around and goodbye. So basically, Fawcett. And uh, because back then I remember they were um, because they offered them at the beginning fifty million dollars to to produce the movie, and then then the new head of the studio says no we can make the same thing for twenty million dollars in South Africa, because back then they were doing chronicle they did chronicles Robocop you know they, they look great but you know with this they said we have a great team in South Africa uh, we can do this for this budget this amount of money, either this or goodbye so I don't know exactly where the conflict but obviously the conflict was. Well, you know, we offer us a fifty million dollar deal. Now it's twenty, so obviously something happened with that. So turn around. So when I was like, I was like, huh? Is the Hispanic community only has Zorro as a as a as a hero? You know. So some friend of mine told me uh, from Mexico, and they said, well, we normally have wrestlers and stuff. And I said, and then I said, who who are you going to watch when you watch uh, a superhero? Where normally some, you know, Captain America. I said, but that doesn't sound very Spanish to me. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> you know. So, so I, I start I start researching, and I I found out that uh, the real life inspiration uh, for Ian Fleming to invent 007, James Bond, was an, an Hispanic guy, which obviously was he didn't have the same traction than a British. But the point is. Um, you know, for you know, for the, for the uh, uh, North America, Europe, and, and and Canada. So I figured, do you know what? I can take that guy, who was the real guy actually, and make him a superhero and develop a trilogy. So that's how my brain went, you know, from one thing to another. So and I um, and I thought, well, that's gonna cost a lot of money. So <laughs> so <laughs> let's try it because you need to strategize how to capitalize distribution and every little things. And then obviously that was before Corona, before COVID, and now with COVID, everything, you know, hopefully it's gonna go back to normal at some point, maybe in a year or two, but right now it's, you know, everybody's going, he's switching for a distribution. You know, distribution is more, is messed up because, anyway, we can talk about distribution. But, um, so basically I, um, I said, why well, is there an opportunity? We have over 1.5 billion uh, Latinos and Hispanic, you know, that were watching movies, you know, people are neglecting them, but these people, they pay, they pay money to go to the movies and they bring the whole family all the time and and they spend they spend money in merchandise backpack lunch packs uh and you name it you know and and they have a very deep sense of belonging if you if you, if they embrace you you know so love passion common sense you know everybody comes along so i like okay let's do that so when we were ready to shoot in London, uh, because to, you know we we started to shoot we, we beginning we you know we started we beginning to shoot in London, and and then uh, we we said okay we were like uh, going to Mexico and then we're supposed to go to Dominican Republic. So, anyway, we did we we were everything was planned up and when we were supposed to go back to London then in March in March of 2020 and then COVID hit and then was like kind of like temporarily that uh, you know we have to hope put on hold the production because I, it was like, okie dokie, what's happening? You know, nobody knew what, what was going on really because every politicians, whatever, they were saying, oh, this virus is gonna kill you and everything. Okay, okie dokie, at the beginning you don't know, so you trust <laughs> what they tell you, <laughs> you know? And, and then you can have an opinion with your mind, but I, I respect everybody narrative and opinions in this matter. So um, I said, well, 
right now it's March, you know, and I said, uh, all the big marketing offices are closed. Everybody's home with, on their phones, you know, con all consistently on their phones. So nobody's doing anything. So what are we going to do? I said, I smell an opportunity here. So I said, what about we cut a trader with whatever we have, okay, and, and release it? Oh, no, it's not going to work. You know, people are, I said, people are home. That, that, that's the point. They're home and bored, you know. So, you know, most people, they're even using their phone when they're in the toilets, for example, even in the shower. So I said, hello, you know, I mean, uh, that's the best time. I mean, I'm, I'm fortunate, but best time to release something because people are just hanging out. You know, so um, I release it and and what happened is he went, you know, I, we, we became the second most viewed video worldwide on Instagram uh, during quarantine in March. Cardi B was number one. The Rock, Downey Jones was uh, number nine. So being being number two, I was like, oh, and I didn't even know Variety picked it up since I received a Google alert. <laughs> wow. I didn't know. So I guess. They're looking at the, I mean, obviously they're looking at that stuff, but I, I did literally nothing. I just, boom, put it out there. And then the universe, you know, you project money and, and manifest. So that happened literally like from organically like this. So it was a miracle. So that was my miracle for that month. And, uh, and that experience, you know, led me to, uh, you know, other stuff that I guess you can ask me later, but, uh, so yeah, so that's exactly what happened. And that was the, that's kind of the story behind it, you know? And, uh, yes. yeah. And so I, I gotta ask, man, and I hear you say this organic, but you know, a lot of people are putting out videos on YouTube and they will barely hit a thousand. How, I, I know now I trust you on that. You know, it was organic. Everything happened. It was your time, but you had two different ones. You had the source. That's over 200 million views. What What is the secret of getting these viewerships on YouTube? No, it's Instagram. But what oh, happened? Instagram, okay. But what happened is, from what I learned, you know, personally from the first secret, I apply it to the source. And and since I had a little bit more time, because we, we released the, the, the first secret in March and the source in November. So it was a gap in between. Because it was very hard to, I mean, to me at least, I mean, to find like a crew uh, willing to work during COVID. But some people, they needed to work because they needed to pay bills and everything. So uh, it was very hard because some people, they were still uh, scared, you know, scared and everything, and which I respect. But I was like, okay, you healthy? Yes. Okay. Well, we don't have to make out. I'm saying we can, we can respect each other's distance. We can do our thing. So <laughs> let's, let's make it happen, you know, wash our hands. You know, there were no guidelines, you know, when we shot it about about the um, um, COVID guidelines, somebody on set, you know, it was, I think we shot that in September, released in November. So I, I break it down to, um, I wanted to, because that one, for example, I conceive it as a movie and I wrote in 2018. And then because of everything was happening and now a lot of movies are like, you know, being the battle backlog and they were there. Some, some of them, they're taking the TV deal, uh, which is uh, money up front, but then you're pretty much dead because, because in a movie you can capitalize for like 18 months, you know? So you make more money as a producer. If you go straight on TV, you're pretty much chopping your situation off. <laughs> so wow. people decide to do that. And some people, for me, I decided, okay, let's, let's, let's make it, you know, convert this from a, from a movie into a TV show, you know? And, and, um, I think that was, uh, that was another one of my ideas. I think it was a good idea. And I, uh, and I, I, I released it online by, um, raising a lot of question marks because I said, I want people to, to say, what is this? Oh, but it's cool. But what is it? Oh, but it looks nice. Oh, it's like, what you know raising questions question questions so now people you know people can ask more questions <laughs> wow <laughs> so if i give up everything it's gonna be okay another story roughly because sometimes in trailers you can roughly understand what's gonna happen you, you might gonna know how it's gonna end but most you know but i like to strategically i thought okay you know marketing offices are still back then were still closed they were like 
slightly try to run percentages to, to showing that they're actually working so they can keep being paid. So they were, uh, they were like um, doing, you know, I, I was, again, I was trying to find the right tweak, the right combination. And I think, and I think I, uh, you know, I, I definitely think I found it. I got, we got 20 million views in, in, in the first uh, month, I believe. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And uh, I was like, I, to be honest with you, I was like, okie dokie. I, I wasn't, okay. I wasn't expecting it because me, that's the thing. I, I do the work. I put out the, I put out the right energy. I, obviously you need to be strategic enough to understand a little bit of what's going on with society, with the media, with the press, where people are more focused on. But not everybody wants to be sat in the press all the time, you know, with 10 masks in their face and whatever. So some people, they want to just like, OK, thank you. We're depressed enough. We need something else to <laughs> to, to, to do and believe, you know, to believe on. Otherwise, the, the, the media and the news were so depressing all the time between elections, between COVID. It's a Jesus Christ. I mean, it's like, OK, thank you. Got it. Enough negativity for you know, for the day or for the, <laughs> for the, in the last year. So uh, I decided to, to to do it. I executed. I, I was blessed enough to have a, a great team with me and, 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 and I got it done, you know? Wow. So your team, they actually, and yourself with the hard work in your team, that's what actually led those views to come up because you all strategically put it out there. And I guess a lot of people depend on the hashtags. Um, as far as it goes for Instagram, um, I, I don't know how well that works all the time, but I think you just had a great product. You put the work in, your team back you up, and look at your number skyrocketing. Now, currently, right now, what, where are um, the first secret and the source sitting at? As far as it goes for viewership, well, right now the the, the first secret is is still on hold because. In London, in, in, in they're reopening right now. So, uh, well, I, I, I would like to strategically wait just for for the right time for to have, hopefully, things to be a little bit more back to normal. Okay. Uh, so there was no release date, no distribution deal in place, but so it gives me more freedom to say, okay, let's wait a second. You know, obviously we have enough heat to can bring it back again. But we um, strategically back. But I wanted to. Uh, um, I want to be safe, uh, also production-wise, because uh, I don't want to be stuck with, uh, with 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 you know in our production. There's a production mm -hmm. with uh, crazily insane things. Like I don't know, a friend of mine, um, uh, for example, I know that they produced a movie in Canada, a pretty big movie. Uh, for hungry millions and they had to do i think it was ten thousand covid tests in two months so that obviously that raised the price of a production pretty high Jeez. so that uh, that's quite a bit so think about the whole crew and cast covid test covid test every day every day every day for two months i mean that's quite a bit you know sometimes even twice a day it hurts i said why twice a day i mean you can get covid right i had i had covid I, i'm okay see I mean, uh, <laughs> um, uh, you know, um, but uh, you can you can do the test and get COVID 30 minutes later. So the test covers you at the moment that you do it. So that's, that's why the, 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 I'm a very logistical person and I'm and I'm a very and I like and I, and I like logic, you know, so. So then you should just, you know, logistically just put everybody in a hotel in quarantine. Nobody can, you know, whatever, leave or whatever. And, and I mean, I will understand that a little better as a, as a measure, to be honest. And then you do a COVID test maybe once every other day. But I mean, um, I mean, again, I'm no you know, and just expressing a little bit. And then it's about if you're healthy is a virus that is so bad that you have to be tested for to understand that you have it. I mean, I had symptoms, so I knew that I had it. I mean that I, and plus, you know, I, okay, I got it. Okay. Because then the person that gave it to me told me, oh, I had it, you know, I was supposed to days ago and I like, okay, okie dokie. I got thankfully only mild symptoms. Uh, oh, what? Sorry. Whoop. Hello. Yes. Sorry. There you I, go. Somebody called. <laughs> so no problem. I, I hang up right away. So, um, so I was able to, uh, take my, you know, some treatments, but, uh, I was, I was lucky enough just because I'm, thank God I'm healthy. 
to to have to face this as a mild mild, mild cold basically uh, headaches you know and then some short breath and, and for a few days here and there and and, and uh, a little bit of fever a little bit for a few hours at night time that I kill with ibuprofen and and I did some IVs for energy for vitamins and da, 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 and and here I am and. You know, <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Enzo. Enzo, I'm glad that you actually made it through that. Um, you're you're really doing. I'm glad you actually recovered from the COVID. A lot of people are still fighting it hard right now. Um, yeah. Everybody that's watching right now that has COVID, um, get well soon. I hope everything recovers back for you, Enzo. He fought it off. Um, I truly believe that you can also. So if you're watching right now, my prayers out to you. Continue to stay healthy. Continue to better yourself. Now, everybody, also make sure you go check out when it comes out the source, check out the first secret, look it up online, make sure you actually follow it. Now, Enzo, I know you're a busy man. I know I can't hold you much longer, but um, are there any other projects that you're working on right now that you'd like everybody to know about? Well, uh, really, are we, uh, one that I'm really passionate about and that, that we're developing right now is called Invincible. Um, it's like 300 meets uh, the gladiator. So it's about the... Um, the first uh, general that never lost uh, a war in the battlefield. So he never lost in his career. Uh, and there was a Roman general, Scipio uh, uh, Africanus, Scipione, uh, that's in, in Italian, but it depends if you want to say in Italian, Latin, or Roman Latin, or in English. And, um, and it's a wonderful story. Uh, and, you know, thinking about... Uh, because it, 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 it sounds like not Hamlet kind of, but you know, it was like it was this like fight from 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 their fathers and the father of like uh, Scipione and then and then uh, Hannibal the Conqueror and then you know and then Hannibal the side. It was the one Hannibal the Conqueror. It, it was able to come from Car Carthage, you know, and then that's Nord in Tunisia currently Tunisia, which is in North Africa, to come with elephant from the Alps, you know, and, and getting basically. Uh, a little less than 60 miles from Rome. So that was like extreme, that, that, you know, the, no one ever got so much close to Rome. And then the Roman army, they didn't know how to manage ele you know, elephants and stuff <laughs> like that. So and at the end, you know, the Roman Empire won. I mean, the Roman army won and Scipione was, but the story behind it and how Scipione took his life, um, how Scipione was betrayed by the politicians back in Carthage and didn't send them that more troops and, 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 and everything. I mean, uh, the way they crossed the Alps because elephants never seen the snow, if you think about it. I mean, those the African ele elephants, they never really seen the snow. I mean, <laughs> mountains with snow. And, and even if they stay away from it, I would stay away myself. I like the ocean personally. <laughs> So, so this is, you know, this is uh, this is something else that we're working on right now, and uh, and and uh, I have a lot of passion on it. It's just uh, it's just a lot of rewriting right now because to make a good script, something like that, epic like that, it takes a lot. So yes. Now, was, Enzo, is there is there a projection for a trailer to drop, or when when do you think a trailer will actually drop for that? I know you're in the basic of writing it right now, but if you could project it right now, what would you think it would be? What year? I was I would say 2023. 20, okay, nice. nice. Realistic. I, I want to be very conscious, but yeah, that's uh, that will be a, a realistic a, re a realistic release date for the. Ladies and gentlemen, you better keep up with Enzo because this man is doing so many things from here on out, even in the past up to now. I'm still waiting. I'm waiting for 2023 because I want to see this movie. I'm ready for the trailer. I <laughs> definitely do. Now, Enzo, what's the best way for everybody to keep up with you on social media? I'm more active on Instagram, um, uh, which is my name and last name, Enzo Zalocki, E-N-Z-O-Z-E-L-O-C-C-H-I. And I'm more active there. I also have Twitter and, and Facebook and I think TikTok, but I, I'm, I'm like... For me, it's like I, I don't have a lot of time to be honest. So for me, Instagram is um, is, is is enough for now. 
Ladies and gentlemen, go follow him on Instagram. Make sure you keep up with him. Check out the trailers. You want to see this. Movies will be dropping back to back, people. You want to keep up with Enzo. You never know where he's going to be. You may see him riding on the elephant, getting close to the snow. You don't know what this man about to do soon. So keep up with him. Definitely keep up. Now, Enzo, what advice would you give any male or female that wants to become an actor, a producer, or a director? You drop gems through the whole interview. But is there any other advice that you would give anybody? Shape your skills. Know who you are. Um, never give up. Consistency or persistency uh, have to be, they have to go together with a strategic way of thinking and with a specific strategy. You can try different things, but never just simply shoot bullet in the dark. So you just like, okay, maybe I'm going to, no, it's not, it's going to take too long. We're going to get old and whatever. Just, just like uh, be very strategic, look, look around, try to, uh, try to find someone who uh, inspires you, you know, uh, somebody who can motivate you. Even if you don't know him personally, um, maybe somebody who really, who made it big and you really look after them, you know, um, um, just look how, they behave, how they hold themselves, and always ask questions, why, how, why, how, you know, uh, always be curious, you know, and, 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 and always, always believe in yourself and, and, and be extremely strategic with every little thing that you do. And remember, the entertainment business is a business, so you are a product. You becoming a product means to sell. If you don't sell, you're out. You know, it kind of makes sense. If you're a new drink in a supermarket, it doesn't sell. Eventually, you're going to go out of the supermarket. So you have to uh, be able to think outside the box. Never wait for a phone call. Be the phone call. Create, create, do something. Release it out. Put it out. Put the effort. The right people eventually will appreciate, will, will really appreciate what you're doing. And and don't look, don't waste time with the wrong people. You know, there's a lot of waste, you know, people, they're going to waste your time. If you're in a poison relationships, get out of it. If you are with a wrong crowd that they they're just drinking and do drugs, get out of it, get out of it right away. You no, know, you should already be out of it since yesterday. So, uh, and, and never, never allowed anyone to tell you what to do and how to do it. Uh, just use your brain. Don't have, don't let other people think for you. You know, uh, shape your your instinct and intuition will never lie to you. So always have a, a realistic way, you know, way of thinking, and do everything with an open heart. You know, and and, and be focused and strategic in everything you do. And 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 you know, maybe shoot for the moon. You're gonna fall on the stars, but you know, that's that's pretty good spot. It's a pretty good spot. You know, if you get there. Wow. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're taking out this advice. I hope you are. Now, Enzo, like I said, I know you're a busy person. I can't hold you much longer, but it's time for the last segment of the show. It's called Take the Floor. Now, Enzo, you have up to two minutes to say whatever you want. No questions asked. Enzo, take the floor. Well, I would start with saying that repeat to yourself several times during the day, I love you. Look yourself in the mirror and say, I love you, literally. Look yourself deep in the eyes and love yourself. Love yourself and, and treat yourself like a temple. Uh, eat right, uh, drink right. I personally don't drink alcohol, but that's my choice. I don't personally don't smoke. Again, that's my choice. I personally don't do any drugs. That Again, that's my choice. Again, I'm not Mr. Perfection, but if you, um, if you put discipline and you're, and you, you know your skills and you shape your skills. You know, I'm going to repeat certain things that I already said, but you can do anything that you want in your life. There is nothing that can stop you. You're going to become unstoppable. If you don't allow to people, if you don't allow people to think for you, okay, and to tell you how to feel and to tell you they, that you have to be, oh, no, you can do it. You have to, you know, poor you. Just, just, just don't listen to the negativity. Always look at the positive. And again, tomorrow is a brand new day. You can start fresh. Build a great future from today. Whatever happened yesterday is yesterday. And be very focused on, on what can make a difference, a great impact in your life, in, other, in everybody's life. Be kind, be, be sweet, be, be productive. Uh, lead people to, 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 to produce and show their best. This is the best thing to create the best 
atmosphere for for energy for the right to attract the right energy and and always do your thing never and never really like have taken anything personal from any negative negative whatever you perceive as a negative in, in the industry think okay well it wasn't meant for me and it's meant for somebody else sometimes you never know what can really go be, you know in a, uh uh you know when on, on closing doors just just always create and and try to have always have an understanding of what's going on in society and understanding of where the media is at or where uh, the studios are at about distribution, where they're releasing more, and where you can fit in, okay? What made certain act actors that can be related to you successful? Uh, maybe some comedy, maybe being just hot, or whatever. Just whatever can relate to you, you know, just, just do it. Just uh, study them, analyze them, and then apply their formula uh, with today's time and create the right formula that can might be working for you. So the key of success is create, I mean, one of them, create your own formula with discipline, love, and common sense, and don't listen to the negativity. Always be realistic and think positive. Wow. 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 Enzo, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming on the show. Uh, once again, everybody, follow him on Instagram. Check out the source. Check out the first secret. Get ready for Invincible in 2023. Hopefully, if that comes out around that time, you make sure you stay tuned to Enzo. Enzo, I would love to have you back on the show in the, in the future. And I would love to be on the show again with you. Thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate you. Thank you. No problem. And guys, make sure you stay tuned to the Bit Scoop with Coop. My next guest is, you know I never announce my next guest. You got to stay tuned to find out. That's right, people. Until next time on the Bit Scoop with Coop. Thank you.